What's up y'all, I'm Whit Piker and today we're in beautiful Panama City Beach, Florida at a place called Schooners. Now, locals call this the last local beach club and they also say it's the greatest place on the planet. And people come and they stay all day, they can walk right out the back door to the ocean and they come and stay all day for some great casual beach food. And then they count down the minutes until the fun begins and the fireworks happen. And now I'm counting down to some amazing food at amazing place. Three, two, one, it's cheat meal time, y'all. Watch what's about to happen. So come on over, Justin. I'm with I'm here with Chef Justin. And look, Chef Justin comes bearing gifts. He didn't come empty-handed. Look, he brought calamari. Let's go ahead and take one bite of this and then we're gonna talk a little bit. Tell me about this dipping sauce too. That is a Creole rim a we make in house. Creole rim. Oh. Uh, no, that's huh? good. <laughs> oh. That's good. A little sour cream, a little horseradish, a little Creole. Can't tell all the secrets, but so how long have you been here at Schooners? Uh, I have been with the company for 21 years now. 21 started here, years. This was my first job. I started here in 97 as a bus boy, and here I am. How many times have we heard these stories at these great places? One of the, the earmarks of a place that's great is they're able to keep their people for a long time because they treat them well. 21 years, started as a bus boy. Tell me your story, how you worked your way up. I'll eat. You talk. I worked here uh, for about seven years. Uh, the owner, Sparky, uh, actually owned three different restaurants at once, Schooners, Boatyard, and Spinnaker. Uh, left here to go to Boatyard. That was more of a more of a finer dining, uh, catering style restaurant right on the uh, lagoon. Uh, while I was there, I attended Gulf Coast uh, culinary program. Uh, came back here and then here ever since. And if you'll look, look at that, get this shot of this, how beautiful this is out here. We're right on the beach. People come and they come eat, then they go back out on the beach and then they come back in and then every night there's a party out here every night. Absolutely, yeah, about the view. You know, I have to come out here myself and look at it every once in a while. You forget sometimes that every single day you look at it, but you really got to take it in and realize it's just a great view, a great place to be. So we're, we're so glad and honored to be here. And that, I'm telling you already, that just that calamari with that sauce is amazing. And so we're, all, we're honored to be here today. We're gonna have a great time today. Thank you so much for having us. All right. This is a normal thing that I say, Justin. I say we're going where all the magic happens. The epicenter. High fives, high fives. Uh, uh. Look at this place, it's amazing. When you think of the quintessential beach bar, this restaurant, this place has to come to mind. Schooners. So what, what are we about to do now? We're about to make some dishes? We're about to make our shrimp and grits and we're about to make the uh, tuna medallions. Let's do it, let's go. And actually you're preparing, you, you do a big brunch on the weekends and that lots of what all of this, the biscuits and the gravy? Biscuits and gravy, we do a lox and bagel, we do uh, Monte Cristo. Wow. Um, about five specials and keep us going on Saturday and Sunday. Right? You ready for your exam? Ready to start cooking? We're ready. First thing we're making is? We make our shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits. Now grits are a, a, a boiled cornmeal. It's a southern staple. It's a, and we said this before, you're gonna know this, but it was brought to America by the Muscogee Indians. I am one quarter Cherokee Indian, just in case you didn't know that. So, Osio Tuitsu. That's Cherokee for, hello, how are you? Shrimp and grits. Get a little action in the pan. Americans eat six billion pounds of shrimp a year. 
I'm responsible for half of that. And, and Justin is responsible for half of that. The rest of us Americans eat three billion pounds of shrimp a year. Right, a little bit of Greek seasoning. Just let that go for a little bit. While we're doing the shrimp and grits, would you like me to... So tuna is um, one of those things that you have to cook to a perfect... You do it a rare or a medium rare? We do it to order. So. However they want. I'm about to tell somebody they can't have their tuna well done if that's the way they want it. Nobody can tell you. Nobody puts baby in a corner. You got my Joni. You got my Joni. Yeah. The whole concept that Justin started here 21 years ago, busting tables, probably washing dishes, doing all of it, and then he went and he loved it so much that he went through culinary school, and now he's a chef here. You feel the heat hot in here. What's the seasoning on that tuna? All right, the seasoning we use on the tuna is actually a half and half mixture of Creole seasoning and black coffee. Did you hear that? Huh. Creole seasoning and black coffee. Coffee seared tuna medallions. Coffee seared tuna medallions. Turn this off, let the residual heat keep going. We'll do our little setup back here. Still pardon me one second. No, you're good. You oh, that's the grits there. Serve the uh, shrimp and grits. We've got the uh, smoked Gouda and Tasso cheese grits. I bet it tastes Gouda. And a porcini mushroom cream sauce that goes on the bottom. Look at that. Ah. I'm just over here eating a biscuit. Oh. I'm going to get in trouble. I may be eating a biscuit here. Maybe eating a biscuit? Man, let me have that biscuit. I'm, I'm messing that up. That looks too good. Can't take me anywhere. That is Scooter Shrimp and Grits. Look at that. Ugh. Looks awesome. Hey, do you know why uh, Sean Connery stopped eating shrimp? They're a little shellfish. You like that? <laughs> that joke. They're a little shellfish. You like that? <laughs> that joke. One more of those, you're going to have to leave my kid. That's <laughs> oh, I got more. I got more, Justin. Tuna medallions. Joni played at that. Hey, Joni. Served with a wakame, which is seaweed salad, uh, uh, wasabi sesame seeds, uh, wonton crisps, and what we have around there is mandarin and sesame ginger dressing. And he's also going to make a lobster salad, too. We probably won't see that, but we're going to see that out there, right? Does it look weird that I'm wearing these gloves? Yes. It does look weird. Let me take those off. Ready for this? Kobe. That's right. <laughs> okay, the napkin. At least let's get you a straight toaster. That's right. This is the ever popular Sean's, what's the exact name? Sean's Loaded Bloody Mary. Sean's Loaded Bloody Mary. There's jalapeno bacon. There's grilled asparagus. They make this shrimp just for this Bloody Mary. Um, there's olives. There's pepperoncini peppers. There's okra. You you have never seen a Bloody Mary like this. All right. So let's give it let's give it a taste. Let me tell you something, Jay. This is funny because. I been feel like she's been staring at me this whole time. I don't know. Hang on. Wait. You gotta quit it. You gotta quit it, Sean. That's amazing. We're gonna tear into all that. But right now, there's this very pretty blonde girl that keeps looking at me. I think I'm gonna invite her to eat eat lunch with me. Should I do that? Get, get my game ready. Throw my wrap. All right. Here I go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Whit. I'm Talisa. It's nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Would you like to join me for lunch? Um, uh, yeah, absolutely. 
score. <laughs> <laughs> So, so we've already seen the calamari with the special sauce. I'm gonna go take a bite of that. Mm. That sauce has a little bit of a bite to it. It's got the dill in it. It's got horseradish. You can taste that horseradish bite in there. And the three mac calamari. Did I just spit something you out? You did. Mac caught it. Matrix. Um, it's it's baby squid, and it's a little bit chewy. But they do it, it's a great texture. And then as our appetizer, they brought this tuna, and he said, that's Creole seasoning and black coffee. That's black coffee on the top of that. Right, so let's, try that. let's get right into that. Now what's this gravy looking sauce? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's really good. <laughs> that's good. That's really good. You can taste the black coffee in there. You can taste that. But it makes it like, you wouldn't think that that would ever be something that you'd put on that. Man, I gotta take another bite of that. It gives it the best flavor ever. And it's, to me, I love that rare, if you're gonna eat grilled tuna like that, it's amazing. I'm gonna mm. try that. All right. Listen, this is the best right here. This is that kale salad with the sesame seeds on top. That's really good. Taste that kale salad. Still yeah. having my morning coffee. Kale gets a bad rap sometimes. That's like not that good or only for um, like... Uh, Yoga instructors. But it's not. I never saw for that. For everybody. Before. That's a really good flavor. Kale, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually extremely good. I made Luke laugh. Score! <laughs> I was worried, but that's delicious. <laughs> uh, it's really good. I, did, I didn't make Luke laugh. <laughs> I'm going to take this tuna and put it in that gravy. I hate it. It's almost like, like a stringy like spaghetti, but it's not. I don't know. It's really, really good. Can we do this? This would be the only way I'd ever eat kale. Oh my god. Don't, don't do that. Here you go, babe. Yeah. Here you go. Mm. Yeah. I'm glad you did it. Thanks. He, he, he said, he said, uh, he said, don't do that. And then after he said, I'm glad you did it. That's really good. Boom. She said that to me a lot. Shut up. Okay, here we go. Uh, hey. <laughs> Don't even put that in there. Mom, oh I'm sorry. Gosh, good. Hey, you know I'm going to go home and try to cook this with some coffee. You know that. Like, I'm going to grind my own coffee. And mm. I'm going to get this last bite of this. Smooth all around. Eat a couple of these. That's so good. That is really, really good. Mm. Mm. And I like this kale spaghetti. <laughs> You can taste the coffee on there. Did she say kale spaghetti? That's what it reminds me of, like my gluten-free spaghetti. But it's really good. Hey, in case you haven't noticed, Lisa is allergic to gluten. I wish you were telling everybody. And I'm allergic to hearing about how she's allergic to you gluten. You say that all the time, but I'm telling you right now. There's lots of people That's like got a it. really good flavor. Okay, we're gonna move on. What Talisa has in front of her is a lobster salad. Fun fact, you ready? Lobsters are one of the only animals that mate for life. They only have one partner for their entire life. That's lobsters. That's why they said on Friends, you're my lobster. Yeah. You are my lobster. I, I am so your lobster. That was Chandler Bain. Can I go ahead and Yeah, go try get, get this. after it. Okay. I'm going to. Now, what did you say was in this? First little? bite, lobster salad. Is it good? Very good. I'm going to take a little bite of that. That's very good. Oh, it's got bacon. I can't even try to describe it. It's so good. That's... That's really good. How can you go wrong with lobster anyway? Okay, now, let's look at this shrimp and grits. Mm. That is so good. You know, 
I, I, Jason and I were talking yesterday how I've never been a huge fan of grits, but I'm a fan of grits now. Is that grits right there? Oh, you can taste that. Oh, wait, let me, let me take oh, one bite of this. Gosh, I'm a fan of grits. Let me take one bite. I have really good. Grits are bold, bold cornmeal. Is that Parmesan all over it or something? Parmesan, uh, yes, that's Parmesan cheese, and there's also the other cheeses in there. Cheese grits. Um, is it? Would it be weird if I ate this tail? It would be. Don't do it. I don't know why you do that. It's good. I'm gonna try this. You ready? Oh gosh, it's really, really good. There's that ramelade mm. sauce that they put in those grits. Look at that. Don't get me on camera. That sauce. You know, sometimes in life you have forethought where you think ahead, right? So, at a random moment where when Wit picks up a biscuit for no reason, why did he do that? Here's why I did that. I'm gonna sop you up like a biscuit. I ain't no dummy. That's your Arkansas coming out right there. Oh my god. Whatever that is. Did we catch what this was right here? Did we, did we talk about that? What part? The, the this sauce, sauce here. Let me try that again. I'm gonna give you this. Porcini mushroom cream sauce. Porcini? Porcini mushroom? Porcini. I'm telling you, this is the best ever. I'm so not good. kidding. That sauce is so good. Hey, babe, I have a fun fact for you. Okay. Did you know that Alaskan, what is this, lobster? Alaskan lobster come from Georgia? Did you know that? I did not know that. It I is still don't amazing. know if that's true or not. But you need to fact check that. Snopes.com. I'm com. pretty sure that it did. It came from Georgia. Ala she just told me that Alaskan lobster came from Georgia. It's so good. They migrate down and they only have one mate. That's amazing. Truly amazing. I feel like she's making fun of my vast research of facts. And also, I think you may have lied on your fun facts. It said that Alaskan lobster comes from Maine and Australia, and I couldn't look up a map of migration patterns to see if the Maine lobster actually went down to Georgia. So it's still a question, but so, so far, I'm well, so I'm just I'm telling tell you, you I'm, down to Georgia. <laughs> I'm telling you, I think I read that somewhere. When, when she said it, I knew there was it no was need to Star, fact check it. It was in Star Magazine. It has to be it true. Has to be true. It has to be. Star Magazine. Uh, I knew it wasn't true. Listen, you know the you know the concept here with us. We work hard to maintain a strict diet all week, and the whole concept is you get one cheat meal a week. So you want to make the most of it. Of course, you come to Florida, it's going to be harder to do that. I promise you. A lot of people, one of the top tourist destinations in all of America is Panama City Beach, Florida. This place is amazing. Take, take a look out there. You have to try this place. Schooners, Panama City Beach, Florida. It's amazing. It's beautiful. We'll get some more of these grits. You've eaten almost all of it. I have eaten almost. You haven't eaten much of that. I'm telling you, because everything's so good, I have to keep eating everything. I even like kale now. Oh, yeah. That's, this is crazy. That's another cheat meal in the books from Panama City Beach, Florida. This place is absolutely amazing. The food we have was great. The atmosphere is great. And you can't beat this scenery. It's unbelievable. Be sure to subscribe. Go to all our social media. Go to Instagram, Facebook. Subscribe on YouTube. Like our stuff. And we're going to have so much more great stuff coming your way. Thanks so much for supporting us. And remember, stay fit, eat clean, and have a cheat meal to stay sane. Get that, Jason.